Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This look is inspired by a book cover. You'll have to check out my Instagram for that. Today, we're talking about audiobooks. Audiobooks that I love and recommend, and specifically in this video, we're talking about my favorite audiobook narrators. There are specific narrators out there that I just want to pick up any book that they narrate because not only is the book interesting to me, but their voice and their acting ability enhances my enjoyment of the overall story. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Hopefully I'll insert like an example clip of each of these wonderful, wonderful narrators' voices. We'll, we'll see how that works though in post-production. So let's start with my number five pick and we'll move our way to number one with some honorable mentions. All right, at number five, we have the iconic duo, Michael Whalen and Kate Redding. These are a married couple who have been voice acting, narrating for many, many years and have narrated some of the most famous fantasy novels of all time. They are wonderful, they do amazing voices, and of course the example I have to pull and how I was exposed to these two is from Brandon, Sa basically anything written by Brandon Sanderson that has an audiobook likely has a, a version narrated by Michael Whalen and or his wife, Kate Redding. So in, for example, in The Way of Kings, Stormlight Archive, all of the male characters are voiced by Michael Whalen and all the female characters are narrated by Kate Redding. The versatility of both of their voices is incredible. They do voices for all the different characters and it really makes this reading experience enjoyable and digestible. This is a long book and this is a long book series, but with these two narrating at the helm, listening to this series and other Brandon Sanderson's works via audio is not only enjoyable, it is preferable for me on a personal level. I have a hard time, you know, holding this bad boy up, let alone uh, reading it and flipping pages. Prelude to the Stormlight Archive. Kalak rounded a rocky stone ridge and stumbled to a stop before the body of a dying thunderclast. The enormous stone beast lay on its side, rib-like protrusions from its chest broken and cracked. At number four, we have the wonderful, wonderful narrator, Emily Wu Zeller. Now, Emily Wu Zeller, I've been, I was exposed to her basically when I started reading more books by Asian and Asian American authors. And obviously I've been having a great time diversifying my reading. And this is one of the narrators that cropped up for me. So the first book I'm gonna talk about, I have a couple examples. So the first book I listened to by, narrated by Emily Wu Zeller is The Kiss Quotient, which is a romance novel. And I just think that she does an incredible job. She's very versatile. So not only does she do romance, she does fantasy, she does nonfiction. And I'm looking over here because that's where my notes are. She has almost 500 audiobooks um, narrated works that she's done. Kiss Quotient being one of them. We also have an adult fantasy, The Poppy War, which she does fantastic with. And also the other example that I have is This Is How You T Lose the Time War. So there are two narrators for this audiobook and she is one of the characters. And I think the back and forth between her and the other narrator are fantastic in this sci-fi novella, female-female romance. I just think Emily Wu Zeller does an amazing, amazing job narrating. And she is my number four. Part one. Chapter One Take your clothes off. Rin blinked. What? The proctor glanced up from his booklet. Cheating prevention protocol. He gestured across the room to a female proctor. Go with her if you must. 
Rin crossed her arms tightly across her chest and walked toward the second proctor. Number three is Bonnie Turpin, spelled B H B A H N I. T-U-R-P-I-N. I love Bonnie Turpin. I get so excited when I'm just like in my library and I pull up a book and it's by Bonnie Turpin or narrated by Bonnie Turpin. I automatically want to read it or at least give the book a chance. She has a ton of nonfiction, um, a lot of young adult uh, fantasy, and you know, that that's kind of how I was exposed to her. A lot of the times she narrates for black authors, which I love supporting all types of authors. And I am working very hard to read more authors of color. And so Bonnie Turpin naturally pops up. So the one physical copy of a book that I have that uh, she narrates is actually Sight Witch by Susan Dennard. The main character is black in this book and it's a pretty short story but Bonnie does the voice and the, the narration for this book. Introduction. So you want to talk about race. As a black woman, race has always been a prominent part of my life. I have never been able to escape the fact that I am a black woman in a white supremacist country. My blackness is woven into how I dress each morning what bars I feel comfortable going to, what music I enjoy, what neighborhoods I hang out in. The realities of race have not always been welcome in my life, but they have always been there. My number two is Robin Miles. I freaking love Robin Miles. Robin Miles was almost my number one. She might be my current favorite but my number one has some nostalgia attached to it. So if, if there wasn't that nostalgia factor, Robin Miles would be my number one pick. But Robin Miles is, how do you describe perfection in terms of narration? Uh, I was introduced to Robin Miles' narration with the Broken Earth Trilogy, one of my favorite series by N.K. Jemisin. I think she enhances that story so, so much. Robin Miles has like 400 audiobooks that she's done. It's incredible. She does a lot of nonfiction as well as fantasy, you know, lots of um, POC work. Um, another example is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. She is uh, one of the main characters. She's not Evelyn, she's the journalist in that one. So like the frame narrative is the journalist. She does an excellent job with that. Can you come into my office? I look around at the desks beside me and then back at Frankie, trying to confirm to whom exactly she's talking. I point to myself. Do you mean me? Frankie has very little patience. Yes, Monique, you. That's why I said, Monique, can you come into my office? Sorry, I just heard the last part. Frankie turns, I grab my notepad and follow her. There is something very striking about Frankie. I have two honorable mentions before I get to my number one pick. And the first one is David Tennant, <laughs> the actor, but you know, that I know from Doctor Who actually narrated a series of children's books uh, by uh, Cressida Cowell. The How to Train Your Dragon book series is narrated by David Tennant in his cute little Scottish accent and those books are just so fun and he has such a fun time. You can tell he has such a fun time narrating those books. So I want to give him a shout out. I have only listened to a few of the books in the series by by Cressida Cowell narrated by him. So I can't say he's a favorite narrator, but I just wanted to mention him in this video. The second honorable mention is actually Steve West. Steve West is a, I think a British um, actor. Um, I don't really know a ton about him, but I've listened to several audiobooks narrated by him or partially narrated by him and have really enjoyed his voice. I love British accents, first of all, uh, so that lends itself to it. But he was the voice of Elias 
in An Ember in the Ashes, and he also was part of uh, one half of the narration in uh, Strange the Dreamer by Laney Taylor. So two YA series that I really, really love. Uh, he is the narrator for the male protagonist in. And I so I really enjoy him. I haven't, again, I haven't listened to multiple, more than those two series. Another shout out to a great narrator. And I hope to read and listen to more by him because I really enjoyed his voice. Now, my number one, my number one pick is very nostalgic for me. And this audiobook narrator was my very first audiobook I'd ever listened to. I, re I remember very clearly my sister borrowed this audiobook on CDs from the library and we listened to it together. So not only do I have this memory of listening to this with my sister, but this narrator's voice just really hit me. I think I was 10 or 11. Um, it was really powerful and it made me fall in love with audiobooks. And I continue to love audiobooks clearly to this day. That narrator is Tim Curry. Tim Curry, the, the wonderful actor that he is, has several audiobook narrations under his belt. The one that I listened to first was Sabriel by Garth Nix. This narration is so magical and beautiful. Tim Curry's voice, just point blank, is beautiful and haunting. And he does so many great voices. He's such a talented actor and it really comes across in Sabriel with the different characters. I think he does a fantastic job. Like I said, if Tim Curry didn't have that element of nostalgia, I think Robin Biles would be num my number one. Prologue. It was little more than three miles from the wall into the old kingdom, but that was enough. Noonday sunshine could be seen on the other side of the wall in Anselstier, and not a cloud in sight. Here, there was a clouded sunset, and a steady rain had just begun to fall, coming faster than the tents could be raised. That is it. Those are my top five audiobook narrators, plus some honorable mentions. Do you guys listen to audiobooks? If so, who are some of your favorite narrators? I would love to know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.